Hey guys! Hey guys, Mahula Brothers here, bringing you back to another... Shall we say, another re uh, re revelation? Another unveiling, there we go. Another unveiling and a tutorial as to this, my latest and probably greatest creation, the Big Wheel Mark III. So with the Big Wheel Mark III is that it's the same body as the Mark II, virtually the same body as the Mark II, but with a major difference. You have wheels! You have real wheels. Look at that! Foldable wheels with that... Unfortunately, I mean, it's a little top-heavy. I might probably have to make the wheels itself themselves out of lighter material. So I don't get that much momentum, but then this is it. The Mahula Mark III Big Wheel. Big Wheel Mark III. Look at that! Alright, now the only difference here is that it does have... It's a little bit bouncy as you can see. Looks more like a wheel. Uh, but uh, yeah, it has... 10? 11? It's got about a dozen intersections as opposed to 8 intersections when it comes to the, uh, the original model. So let me show you how to build the Mark III. So the Mark III itself, what I start off is with the base. Of course, the base itself is 1, 2, 3, 4 for the seat. Then it's too wide, and then the walls. So just so I remember the measurements, I start off with the seat. Uh, yep, just about at the middle. There you go. You should have only a one square gap on each side, there you go, and then you can put in the walls, or the floor, whichever one you want to do first. The walls themselves go only about as high as the seat itself, uh, the back bottom goes only about as far as the seat itself, and then the floor should go, f oops, should go forward about as much as the two electric motors will fit. Uh, let's get some electric motors going. So the electric motors will sit in the middle like that. Oh, that's perfect. Cool. And then you can fill in the walls. Like a so. And then you have the body. Okay. The body itself is like that. Uh, what I like to do here is also you need the uh, wheelie bar. Okay, leave enough for the big wheel, and I forgot how far I have this one out. One, two, three, four, five. This is out five. It has to, I tested it before. It has to be at least four long, but five seems to work the best. If it's any less, then it'll just flip over. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then we can go ahead and put in our... A big wheel wheelie bar there you go now all the other measurements are just about the same as the mark II. One, two, three, four, I believe yeah it should be four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. yep that's four and then we come out for the support for the suspension off-road suspension and <clears throat> one block there. Is it four? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Oh no, that's one high. Because this has to be even with the uh, the top of the body. That's what it is. Too high. I miscalculated. Okay. So once you measure it out, you can see here that the shock or the suspension is even with the top of the body. And then there you go. Other side, same thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, perfect. Sorry, suspension. Uh, block. Bearing for the middle of the wheel. Now, <clears throat> um, let's do this in the light material. Uh, yeah, let's do this in wood. We'll do everything else in wood. 
Now from here, it's the same measurements as before. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for this, for every portion here is five. So from here you come out five, uh, you come out two on each side, and then you start from there with the wheel. Bearing one, two, three, four, five. Or just count out four. <clears throat> from the bearing, that is. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, using the wood here, it's a little bit easier to uh, to calculate since it is segmented. One, two, three, four. Ah, nope, one more. See, it's easier to measure because it's segmented. Now, what you're going to need here is you're going to need um, nine bearings per side. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. This is five. Actually, sorry, eleven. Sorry, that should be eleven. So it's was it one, two, three, four, five? Uh, we'll make this six on this side and five on the front. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. Now, this thing here. One, two, three, four, five. One too many. Or was that enough? Nope, that was enough. <laughs> that was enough. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's long. One, two, three, four, five. So how many bangs is that? <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. One, two, three, four. One too long. <clears throat> that is perfect. Perfecto. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what we're going to do here is, just to make things a little bit more interesting, <clears throat> what you can do here is, uh, put a controller somewhere, wherever you want to, on the inside. Uh, you're going to need at least three. Because you're gonna need, you're gonna have 11 bearings to uh, use. They're, they're gonna curl up into the into the wheels, eh. and then a switch to activate the curling. And then so we start dragging uh, the controllers. Okay, so wow. Okay, so this side's gonna have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, eight. Eight is great. Now it is. Nine and a ten. Now for the other spare controller, which should be this one. You'll connect the eleventh. <clears throat> okay. Now bear with me while I go ahead and make the other wheel. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. So much love for the uh, music that's going on. Uh, it is. Oh, I forgot what it is now. It is no copyright. Uh, is it no copyright sound? I think it's a no copyright sound channel on YouTube. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have to count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Yes, kids, in this project, you get to learn how to count with the count himself. Uh, remember that? Is he still alive? Is the guy who does the voice still alive? One, two, 
three, four, five. That's the question. Is the guy who does the voices still alive? How old are these people that, does the, that do the voice? Who are the original voices of the Muppets? I mean, I know you had <clears throat> Jim Henson. It's more most of the Muppets, but I mean the Sesame Street Muppets. <clears throat> Here's the question. The Sesame Street Muppets. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See, that looks about even. Yay, I know how to count. At least up to five. Three, four, five. At least I know how to count up to five. Anymore, I'm in deep trouble. <clears throat> okay, now you connect up everything to the remaining uh, controllers. The funny thing is that this is the, I like to keep it organized this way, but you're going to need at least three. You're going to need at least three controllers. It doesn't matter as to where they go, which controller they're connected to, as long as they're all connected, and you'll be able to test. Uh huh? Oh, that's right. That's the that's the ten. So number eleven is there now. <clears throat> Uh, let's get the rest of this stuff out of the way where that I'll show you everything all at once buttons for the motors connect up the rotating bearing to the motor motor to the switch and switch to the seat rotating bearing to the motor motor to the switch switch to the seat okay and then the third one the third switch you can connect to the seat too where that this switch should be connected to all the uh, controllers. Oh, I disconnected that one? Shoot. Shooter! Shooter! It doesn't matter, see it says three, it doesn't matter as to which one, just as long as you're able to activate all of them at the same time. Okay? Um, Alright, so now that that's all done, you have to get all the angles correct in the controllers. Um, wow, we're starting to, look at this, we're starting to lag just with these two vehicles and all these connections. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to, I may have to destroy that and then show this one off again, uh, just to get the frame rate. But, what you can do here is, for now, oh, for now, don't worry about which direction all of them are going, we'll fix that afterwards. It's actually easier to fix the directions <clears throat> of the bearings after you program everything. Program each bearing for 30. Positive 30. Okay. And then I'll show you the trick to this. Positive 30. Yay! That should be it. Uh... Too much. 30 and 30. Yay, I know how to count. 1 to 5, then 30. Alright. 30, 30, 30. Magic number, ladies and gentlemen, is 30. 30! Ah, ah, ah. Okay. <clears throat> Now that that's all done, we are ready. Just make sure that the uh, rotational bearing for the motor, make sure that they're all going in the correct direction, which that one is. Now disconnect. Oh, feel that lag. Feel that frame rate lag. Now, what you're going to do here is activate the wheels. Notice the wheels curl up like this. Do not worry because this is actually very easy. Okay? For every hump, start from the end. For every hump in the that goes up like this, invert the angle, and then you're done. Okay. Invert, 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 and you have a wheel, ladies and gentlemen. You have a wheel. <clears throat> Yay! Um, there might be a problem with that one. I'll have to check the angles in the controllers. 
but hump, hump, flatten out those humps. Actually, no, please, ladies, don't flatten out those humps. Um, <clears throat> looks like it's number one in this controller that seems to be the problem. Yes, it is, 45, check that out. <clears throat> And now, <clears throat> you have yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, the Mahula Big Wheel Trike Mark III. I didn't put up the... Nope. Hee <laughs> hee. Always put up the engine. Testing. And a good speed is about half. <clears throat> We're connected. We are connected. Onward ho! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. And we're on our way. Yeehaw! There goes the suspension. <clears throat> yeah, I think it handles a little bit better with wood because it's wood isn't so heavy as metal uh, ma metal wheels, so that's good. I may just change that back to uh, sports suspension as opposed to off-road suspension, but that's very nice. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna shorten this up, or I may make the wheel smaller. I forget. <clears throat> Look at that! Ready to go. Awesome. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Mahula Brothers Incorporated. Uh. Big Wheel Trike Mark Mark III. I have to check the measurements again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it is correct. <clears throat> All the measurements are correct. Seems a little bit more. Um, There you go. Launch me out. I love that. I love that. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to make this a smaller wheel. Just because the... Having it lean back is better. Like that. There you go. That's a little better. I'll put a second wheel on there. Actually, no. Haha. -ha, I made a mistake. <laughs> Don't follow what I did here. I made a mistake here with that. This is supposed to be at the center of the body. I thought, I observed that this was the center of the body, but it's not. This cube here is the center of the body. Oh, I won't be able to weld it back on. I'll have to build it all the way from the back again. But that's basically it. That is basically it. Proof of concept working right there, ladies and gentlemen, of the Mahula Big Wheel. Okay, so just make sure that when you have this, everything is centered. Okay, make sure that this is completely centered. But as you can tell, it still works. It still works beautifully. Uh, but probably this one, the original, yeah, this is probably... Of course, this is sturdier. As you can see from the way it works uh, and the way it feels as you control it. The wheels are heavier and, and, more, and more sturdy. But uh, there you go. <clears throat> The Mahula Big Wheel Trike Mark III. Some of you might think that, uh, you know, I uh, should be using a, uh, a motor now, a gas motor, but I would prefer the electric motor because the electric motors themselves, they are uh, stronger in a sense of pushing heavy weight, even though they're not as fast. So it, they take very little acceleration time, very little acceleration to their full speed as to whatever you um, make them to be. Okay, so hopefully you like the tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, please leave a like, favorite, comment, and let me know what you think, any kind of ideas. Anything else you might have seen somewhere else you'd like me to give you a tutorial on for me to try to figure out. Uh, Mahula himself is having me on another server try to figure out a different type of walker he wants to do. But uh, unfortunately, that itself is a little bit more complicated to my mind. So hopefully you like the Mahula Big Wheel Trike Mark III.
As always, please like, favorite, share the videos, leave a comment, as I said before. Stay safe out there. Don't do anything that we would do in the virtual world. Just because it's stupid. Okay? Be safe out there. We want you to stick around. Thanks a lot.